I'm Slava for the Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. In the previous show, we covered a lot of things announced at I.O., and we have more great news to share with you. There is a new API component to create customized passes in Google Wallet. Google Pay and Wallet Console is a platform that helps developers discover, integrate with, and manage Google Pay and Google Wallet features for their businesses. Google Wallet onboarding and management has moved to Google Pay and Wallet Console, so you can control all your integrations from one place. You can find the new Google Wallet section in the console's left-hand navigation bar and from there access your tickets, loyalty programs, offers, and other passes resources. Jetpack Compose simplified UI development to allow Airbnb engineers the freedom to focus on more dynamic and innovative features that benefit the app's hosts and guests. Android's modern UI building toolkit directly supports both of Airbnb's development principles, using technology that sparks innovative development and empowering the engineers behind the work. In the new blog post, Vinay Gaba from Airbnb shares how Jetpack Compose empowers developers to do their best work. Read the Airbnb's Compose story in the Android developer's blog post. Last week, we released a new sample app on GitHub, now in Android. It showcases best practices, opinionated designs, and solutions to complex real-world problems which other sample apps don't handle. It also helps you, the developer, keep up to date with the areas of Android development which interest you most, all while also keeping up to date with the latest Android news and announcements. Right now, the app is in alpha and includes UI built with Jetpack Compose, material tree theming, adaptive layouts for different screen sizes, app architecture from our guidelines, reactive programming models, and more. Check out the app on GitHub and let us know what you think. The Firebase team made a lot of announcements at this year's I.O. To help you navigate those announcements, Tyler Crow from the Firebase team made a great summary in his blog post. It covers tools for accelerating app development and getting to market faster, running your apps with confidence and delivering the best experience to your users. Plus, seamless and secure development experience for you, the developer. Learn more about Firebase's announcements and recently launched products in Tyler's post on the Firebase blog. Google Cloud announced a new dataset that provides access to critical software supply chain information for developers, maintainers, and consumers of open source software. The Open Source Insights project scans millions of open source packages from the NPM, Go, Maven, PyPI, and Cargo ecosystems. It computes their dependency graphs and annotates those graphs with security advisories, license information, popularity metrics, and other metadata. This new dataset allows anyone to use Google Cloud BigQuery to explore and analyze the dependencies, thus helping developers better understand the structure and security of the software they use. Begin exploring this public dataset tables with a guide you can find on the Google Cloud blog. At Google I.O., we saw how important artificial intelligence and machine learning has become for developers. On June 9th, Google Cloud is hosting a digital event, Google Cloud Applied ML Summit, where you can learn new and sharpen existing skills in this field. Join this event to find new ways to build reliable, standardized AI pipelines, train high-quality ML models in minutes with AutoML, and make the most of your Google Cloud investments. Visit cloudonair.visgoogle.com slash events to reserve your seat for the summit. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Slava for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. I don't know.